of the day, I thought we'd take a look at mineral resources. Uh, what a couple of days it's had. Uh, after a booming day yesterday on the market with the share price getting close to 100 bucks, um, anyhow to record levels at the time, uh, share price down today after an update. Uh, mineral is saying output guidance for its lithium mine, uh, the Mount Marion mine ramp up has been pushed back due to the delayed supply of processing equipment and labour shortages. Uh, second quarter iron ore shipments were also down by 9%. So, um, Henry Jennings, one of your favourite stocks, um, gave back a bit of yesterday's gains. Uh, what do you think of Minrez? It has been a meteoric rise, hasn't yep. it? Yep. Uh, and I guess some of the things that they're talking about are go to the whole core of the lithium story to some extent because yep. we are seeing cost overruns we are seeing supply chain issues. We are saying delayed production. Um, yeah. And this, this kind of theory that all this supply is suddenly going to hit the market. And then you get Minrez saying, well, you know what, actually, guys, maybe it isn't. Right. Uh, maybe we're delaying a little bit. So that will keep the lithium price higher for longer. Uh, Minrez has just been an absolute standout superstar. And it is one of the three stocks that I have been looking at. If you were going to start a portfolio, where would you start? Right. And it's one of the three stocks that I suggested um, that would be a core of that portfolio. Oh. So I think this well, is... Uh, a, uh, what were the other two? Uh, the other two were Macquarie. Right. And funnily enough, James Hardy. Oh. Bit of a, oh, bit that's of a, interesting. Bit of a um, sort mm, of... I didn't um, expect that from you. No. Well, I didn't expect that yeah. from me either. But, the more <laughs> I, but <laughs> to be honest, the more I looked at it, the more sort of... Um, it, it's just... Oh. I guess it's sort of a counter... Uh, in terms of if you right. think that the US isn't going to slow yeah. down quite that much. Yep. And we are seeing some signs of a housing recovery. Slightly. Okay. So uh, back to MinRes. UBS came out yesterday and said they expect a <laughs> spike in, in lithium in the next 12 to 18 months. Yeah, this is great. After that coming yeah. down. <laughs> they change their mind about every month, don't they? I know. They, they change their mind more often than I change my socks. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, it, it, MinRes is a quality act. It's got exposure to both quality kind of resources going at the moment, iron ore and lithium. Yeah. These delays, well, you know, this is going to happen. It's, I think it's fantastic the stock's down 5% today because it was getting very kind of overbought. Mm. It'd be lovely to sit down another 5% because then it would be even more compelling. But right. Chris Ellison's done a great job. Yep. There was some rumours around as well about them floating off the US lithium assets, which are really small in the big scheme of things. Um, but um, they seem to be denying that. Okay. So for me, MinRes is still a fantastic story, despite this little setback. In fact, yeah. it gets better because if it fell another 5%, it would just look even more compelling. So okay. really happy to High be High levels. So are you, are you buying at these levels? I'd love to wait till tomorrow. Right. Because, you know, we'll probably get some broker downgrades. There's a lot of uh, exuberance and hope baked into this stock, and it's just disappointed. Right. A little bit, so we wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised to see some broker downgrades tomorrow. Um, but you know, if it got back down to eighty three, eighty four, right, load up. So hold if you're in. Hold if you're in. Buy if, at eighty three. If, if you're not in, maybe give it a day or two to to let this all wash through. But uh, I think you know, at the end of the day, the lithium price is going to stay high okay. for longer because of what Minrez has said today, and because of what Albemarle has said as well, and what Pilbara said. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's not easy bringing on production. Yep. It's not just flick the switch and off you go. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. takes time. Okay. Andrew, what do you think of MinRes? Yeah, I, I don't mind it. And certainly sage advice from the professor relating to maybe just, uh, that's going to stick as well, um, relating <laughs> to sort of just waiting a day or two. As we know, it's sort of two or three uh, days for good or bad news to wash through a company. So uh, Henry's right, tomorrow there'll be a whole lot of downgrades come through and that may see some further price weakness, but it is absolutely a quality business with quality management in the right space at the right time and sort of in that 80 to 85 mark is the sweet spot. So it's a hold if you're in there, uh, a patience, and I reckon under a week, uh, I'm not sure it'll get to 80 to 85, but certainly if it continues to come off into the 80s, I'm very interested. Okay.